basically we had margaritas and then we came to church hello so i am in mexico yes i'm in mexico city i'm actually here on a tour so i'm going on a textile tour literally today but i thought i'd have a few days where i'm not vlogging so yeah i just i don't know when i was on the plane like even though i've i've wanted to come here for such a long time and do this tour when i was on the plane i was just really really nervous i was just like I'm gonna be by myself for a couple of days. Like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't, you know, know what the safety situation's like. So I was really nervous, but I feel really comfortable now. Like, I think it just, you need to get your bearings. Like I did a tour on the first day. I kind of got used to where everything was. I've got my favorite like pastry shop I like to go to. So yeah, I feel a bit more settled and ready to vlog. So I'm gonna insert a few clips of what I've been getting up to. I've done a couple of tours. I've explored and yeah, I've eaten a lot of food. <laughs> yeah. This is my first taco. So we have taco number two. Mm -mm. This is just like the one that we had at the previous spot. Mm. This is hot. But put a, a couple of drops, just administer it well, and it'll be a great balance to the sweetness that the taco already has. So this is our last stop. We just had a mezcal cocktail. Well, not really a cocktail, just a shot. Shot of pure spirit. Samantha and we've got some food. I'm feasting today. This is like so exciting. So we've got like a, a pork trauma? Did you say it was like a trauma? It's inspired the trauma. Okay, so there's a pork trauma. And we've got like a ice cream churros thing or something. Sandwich. Ice cream sandwich. And then we've got some churros. Very exciting. So I'm having a bit of a cultural day. I've come to Casa Gilardi. So this was designed by an architect called Louis Barragan, I think. And yeah, I'm gonna learn a bit more about him. I just love the colors. Apparently he just loves to play with light. Oh, it's such a cool place, it's so cool, cool, cool. I think it's costing me about 30 quid to come here and take pictures. I wasn't too happy about the price, but I'm glad I came. It is so beautiful, I love these colors. Apparently he was inspired by the Bauhaus and all kinds of different artists. I'm actually going to another example of Louis Barragan's uh, works in a bit. But I thought I would wander around this park. I'm confused as to how to get into the park. I tried to ride on a bike, but I did not like my bank card. So I'm walking and I'm still very confused as to where I'm going, but I'm gonna try and get into the park. And I think there's temples and all sorts of things. So I just wanna have a little look since I'm in the area. Mexico City is so huge. It's a little bit overwhelming, but I'm trying to do everything bit by bit. And since I'm in this area, I might as well see everything. <laughs> oh, hello, squirrel. Come back. I'm just gonna have a little snack here and chill. I think I've ordered some tacos. This is where you need to come if you're a bit of an architecture buff. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to film inside or take pictures. Basically, you have to pay a photo fee in a lot of places, so it all adds up. It's very minimal on the outside and then really colorful inside. So after my cultural afternoon, I had a look around some shops and didn't rush home because I thought, no way is it gonna rain. The thing about Mexico City during rainy season is that it tends to rain most evenings and even if you've been lulled into a full sense of security it's gonna rain i ended up being caught in a coffee shop for about an hour waiting for the rain to die down and it was literally around the corner from my airbnb not ideal but i got home eventually i think i've covered everything i got up to before the tour i then checked out of my airbnb took an uber to the new hotel and went to the orientation our first stop was the Museo de Arte Popular, or the Folk Art Museum, as it's known in English. It was so perfect for me, and it covered all of the different textiles and crafts that could be found in Mexico. So we are loving this modern take on the embroidery. It's a little bit saucy. A little bit saucy there. I've seen some baskets. Oh, baskets. Okay. Wow. This is one of my favourites. This is from Tabasco. So this is apparently Frida Kahlo's 
favorite restaurant. Hello, so it's Saturday, so I'm now on the tour, which is really, really cool. Everything's been sorted out. I don't have to worry about any like logistics. And yeah, we've already been to a museum. So we just had breakfast. We're gonna have a bit of a floral crown workshop learn a bit more about Frida Kahlo and then we're going to a museum of modern art so very very cultural and creative but yeah I love where I'm staying it's so like quaint and there's lots of you know ceramics it's very oh, a little bit quirky a little bit kitsch love it absolutely love it it's good to be around people again as well uh, you know it's only day one so we'll see how I get on but yeah sharing a room not not too bad you know i feel like i've got space got up at 5 a.m not ideal sat in the dark but yeah it's good to chat to people most of the ladies are a little bit older most are from uh, america one's from australia but yeah really really cool so yeah i better head to the workshop and i'll show you what i get up to the Modern Art Museum. These are so cool. So colourful. This is insane. Party Boat Central. Ooh, what's he cooking? So this is the Frida Kahlo Museum. So we're here, it is quarter to ten in the morning. There's already a big old queue. But we have a reservation, so we are gonna be VIP. No, it's joking. We're gonna go in, hopefully we won't have to wait too long. So the Frida Kahlo Museum was definitely an experience. There's 10 rooms of Frida and Diego Rivera's works, objects, ornaments, and photos. I loved seeing her kitchen and studio especially. You really understand what made her tick and the things she was struggling with, you know, not having a child, all sorts of things. In terms of logistics, you can see how crowded it can be at around 11 in the morning. Apparently there's three hour queues if you don't book. So make sure you book, make sure you get there early. The gardens were a little bit more chilled, so you could take your audio guide outside and listen at your own pace. So I'm wearing my new floral crown. I've got, I've got a bit of leaf, a little bit of leaf. So yeah, this is how I'm looking. <laughs> After the museum, we had a quick look around Koya Can Market and had the most amazing ceviche to start us. Then we had a bit of a walking tour, as this is one of the oldest neighbourhoods in Mexico City. We even saw some life-size sculptures of Frida and Diego. I've just spotted this really cool car and this really interesting building. I'm sure the architects out there can tell me what it all means, but this gate is a mood. I'm gonna get a coffee because I do not want to crash at 9 p.m. like I've been doing every night. I've been such a grandma. But yeah, I think there's a good good balance of free time and guided activities. And I'm learning so much as well. Like our guides are amazing. So happy. What is this place? I think this is part of the old church. Hello, so it is Monday. I thought I would get ready and chat about how the tour is going so far. Well, I say get ready. I think I'm just gonna have like a no makeup day, just a little bit of brow. I have a roommate, so my roommate is called Tony. She is from Texas. And I was a bit, you know, I was a bit unsure about sharing a room, but it's been fine, you know? Um, luckily in the hotel, there's like a couple of common areas. The only thing is that she's too hot and I'm too cold as well. So, and I'm jet lagged and she's from Texas. So I've been getting up early. Apart from that, like, I think having those few days by myself really helped because I was sort of itching to see people again. I just like the fact that everything is organised for me. Like, I haven't had to think about logistics. Uh, you know, my Spanish is non-existent, so it just makes things a lot easier. I always feel bad that I can't, you know, when I can't speak a language. A few days ago, we did the Trajinera ride, 
and I didn't even know about that. Like I booked this tour because it was, you know, textile focused, it had museums and workshops, and then it's included all of these other, you know, typical tourist activities as well. So it's great that I haven't had to, you know, do too much research and then anything else I discover, I can try and like fit it into the evenings. Uh, so yeah, what are we do today, we're going to the pyramids. I can't remember how you say that. I'm going to try and learn some more words. And then we have a free evening. So I might go to Zumba. I'm going to see if I can join a class. Maybe I'll go to the park as well and see the castle. And then tomorrow we are leaving Mexico City. It's gone so quickly. Yeah, I feel like I've had a decent amount of time here. You know, it's the same size. Or maybe it's slightly bigger than London. So there's a lot to see, but... It's just really cool, really inspiring. Like the architecture is really cool. There's lots of Art Deco and Art Nouveau architecture, loads of street art, loads of really cool, colorful places. So I think anyone creative would love it here. I did a post about my laser hair removal. And the thing is, because I've been to so many hot countries, I think it has stimulated the hair follicles. So my hair has grown back. And now I have to like shave my face, which is not ideal. <laughs> Sun is making me look a little bit crazy. Where can I go? I will catch up with you a little bit later on. I can now finally say Tetuacan, which translates as city where the gods live. What's great about these pyramids is that you can actually climb them. Make sure you wear sensible clothes and drink lots of water. This is basically the opposite of what I did and probably why things started to go wrong. <laughs> we made it. Oh my gosh. What a view! What a view! I thought it would be clever to wear a midi skirt on a pyramid. No, this is not a climbing. This is not a climbing outfit. I made it. I made it to the top in my midi skirt. Yes. This is pretty popular. Not looking forward to the journey down, but at least I won't fall. So, yeah, swings and roundabouts. We're having lunch here. So you said it's underground? Yes. So we're going to an underground restaurant. <laughs> so although we were in this amazing restaurant, I started to feel a bit queasy at lunch. It probably wasn't the best idea to climb two pyramids, then drink margaritas in a cave. I managed to pull myself through and was determined to make the most of the evening. So I've stumbled across another cool, colorful destination. Hotel Camino. Lots of really interesting angles. So we've just arrived in Puebla and this is where we're going for lunch. This decor is a bit of me. Oh my gosh, so this is lunch. Lunch came so quickly. So we've got the chicken with the mole. Hello. So I'm not sure if I did like a proper chat. This dress is going to do this again. So last night I actually was a bit ill because I think of the altitude and maybe you know, having the margarita straight after climbing the pyramid. And then I felt a bit queasy. Then I went back, felt okay. Then I went to Zumba, had to throw up. So not ideal, but feeling a lot better today. And yeah, just look how colorful Puebla is. church basically we had margaritas and then we came to church good morning good morning from the market so i popped out because this is the only place that you can get ceramics i think puebla is known for its ceramics so i think i'm gonna buy a little plate for 100 pesos it's about four pounds and i will always remember this trip. We're going to be here for a little while and have some lunch. So the main reason why I picked this tour is because we have the chance to meet different artisans and understand all of the various embroidery techniques. We stopped off in San Gabriel Chilac at a family business and it was so fascinating to see all of the different motifs that could be done by hand or machine. There's so much work that goes into it. I ended up buying a dress for the grand sum of £18 and I know I'll treasure it forever. I have shopped. This was 18 pounds. Mm -hmm. 
Then after another long drive, we finally arrived in Oaxaca for the Gelaguetza. Now, this is where I'm going to wrap things up, but I can't wait to show you more in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye! This is where we're going. We've been invited to Dulwich Picture Gallery. So this is all in partnership with the London Festival of Architecture. Yeah, we are here. This is such a cool exhibit.